advantages of Modified Live versus Killed is Modified Live, because it's a live virus that doesn't cause disease and infection, it gives a more normal immune response in the cow. So that cow, when it sees the real field virus, has the same immune response. It's better protected. You're going to see an excellent efficacy and safety with the vaccine. Killed requires two doses. You give a dose and then you have to booster it in three weeks to get protection with a modified live. So therefore, with a modified live, we're going to get protection after that first vaccination. With modified live, if I'm using it in a reproductive setting in a cow herd, I really try to get them to vaccinate pre-breeding before they turn the bull in, at least 30 days. Because if I think about reproduction in the cow herd, the, the biggest issue is conception and then that early part of gestation is where that fetus is the most susceptible and that cow is most likely to lose the calf. So I like to see vaccinations pre-breeding. And in first calf heifers, we really need to keep the vac that vaccine at least 30 days out um, before our bull turn in because the modified live will impact the ovaries. So if we vaccinate 30 days, we're gonna get good, good reproductive efficiency when we vaccinate that heifer correctly. Well, fetal protection is, we, we know that if that BVD virus affects, infects that cow between 45 and 126, 127 days, that calf can become persistently infected, which means it's going to shed BVD virus after birth to all its herd mates and all the cows there and anything it comes in contact with. So fetal protection, if I vaccinate early, I protect that fetus from getting infected by the BVD virus. That way we keep our reproduction up. So, and the safety, we know that it's, modified lives are safe in the cow herd as long as you follow the label directions. That that cow has received a modified live within the last 12 months, then I can vaccinate the pregnant cow. But make sure that she's within the last 12 months. I mean, we're all in, as a cow herd, we're in the business to make, make money and to make money we have to put more calves on the ground. A good vaccination program gets the calves born early and gets more calves born. The earlier they are, the heavier they are at weaning, the more opportunity I have to make money. And so that's the real return is a good vaccination program gets us calves born early in, in the breeding season or in the calving season.